Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today I got another update with the indoor grow bed. Today's day 23 of starting this beautiful little grow box and trying out this little nice little experiment. And as you see, this container is nice and small. I mentioned earlier in my videos, but if this is your first time seeing it, this is a little 16 by 11 by 7 little container and I filled basically half of it using hydroponic clay pebbles and the top half is cocoa core which is really about two-thirds of it and as you see you could actually see all the beautiful roots growing throughout look right here you see all the roots going down all the way down into the bottom into the, in, which acts as the reservoir basically and I generally keep one gallon of water in this container at all times so when I pour in a gallon I wait until it completely drinks everything up dries out and about next day usually I'll refill another gallon and so this way it just stays at the bottom this way it acts as a little almost like a Kratky style but you have to refill pretty often usually every I've already refilled this thing twice now and today's only day 23 and if I show you the radishes, you'll see they're putting on some nice new leaf growth all over the place. Some are bigger than others. And if I zoom you in, you begin to see all the beautiful Lobo Rosa lettuces mixed throughout, as well as you see all the nice little chives. Look at all those chives growing. And you could actually come in here today if you wanted it to. The radishes are definitely not ready because it's still very early for them. But you could come in here and it, eat some lettuce if you wanted to. Like you could come in here and just you know, just pick it. Look, look at how easily, first of all, it comes out, out of the system. Clean roots, nothing broke. And right here, this is basically microgreen lettuce. So look at how nice that is. So if you wanted to, just come in and eat it. It's actually really tasty. Usually the first sets of leaves on the on lettuces are very delicious. And you could grow, you could eat lettuce basically at pretty much almost any stage of its life. And it's really tasty. But don't forget, the younger you eat the lettuce, the more of a bitter taste it has. But I really enjoy my, my greens, so I don't mind. I really actually quite like it. And if we wanted it to, instead of growing all different types of greens right here like I am, you could just simply come in here and just, if you wanted just lettuce, sprinkle lettuce very thick throughout, and then it would grow in even more compact, and then you could just come in here and clip what you need and eat that while the rest of it continues to grow. And that's basically an example of microgreen style, and I'm actually going to take you on and show you a few episodes of that coming soon. We're gonna be growing some microgreens, so that's that's exciting. And yeah, that's basically what I have going on on day 23 right now. And let me just mention, being that this is a clear container and all the roots have begun to expose themselves around the edges of the container here, you don't wanna damage anything, so I just quickly made myself a little DIY newspaper that just happens to fit perfectly underneath and this thing is heavy so it's too hard to lift with one hand but I usually keep that inside this little paper and I push it into my greenhouse here and I try to keep it fairly close under the lights and if you see let me just show you real quick for those of you that are gonna be following me along growing these lettuces and different leafy greens right here we planted some arugula and some spinach, I believe also some mixed green lettuce. And that's doing quite well. So almost got 100% germination there. And we'll come back soon when this plant, when this grow bed here gets nice and big. And the lettuce heads get a little bit larger as well as the chives. And we could actually come in and give ourselves a nice little salad. And that's what I want. I want to be able to grow my own food for myself. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer everything. 
and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.